a parliament that's set to cost in excess of £300 million. That's three times the amount it would cost the executive to compensate haemophiliacs like Andy Gunn, who were given infected blood products in the 1980s. Yet Andy's been told compensating him is too expensive. Today, Andy began protesting outside the Scottish Parliament. He was given blood infected with both hepatitis C and HIV when he was a child. And he's one of only 19 such children still alive today. His fight has been taken up by the SNP. Well, I'm supposed to first that the Scottish Executive delivers justice for this you know, very small but very worthy group of people. Two reports now have recommended that people who got hepatitis C in the NHS should get some form of financial compensation. The executive has said they can't afford it. So what I'm doing today is putting forward, I think, a very constructive proposal which explains how the money can be transferred from other parts of the budget into a fund that will deliver financial assistance and justice for hepatitis C sufferers. But Andy has another option open to him. His medical notes detail the batch numbers of the blood products he was given, and those can be traced back to American drug companies. He and other haemophiliacs have had meetings with American no-win, no-fee lawyers who have already won out-of-court settlements for similar patients over there. With their expertise uh, in the subject, they can follow um, the batch numbers and the lot numbers from where they were harvested in America uh, and match them up with my records and uh, hopefully um, we'll you know, sue them. The Haemophilia Society is appealing for more patients to come forward and anticipates filing a claim for damages in the next six to eight weeks. Eleanor Bradford, Reporting Scotland, Edinburgh.